estimated 850,000 people in the UK have dementia, with around 40,000 of those living with rare forms of the disease. Monty Python star Terry Jones suffered from a rare type of frontotemporal dementia before his death in January. While Caroline Blatter's family are living with the stark reality of early onset frontotemporal dementia, her husband Andrew was diagnosed with disease aged just 51. I'm probably going to say what lots of people who ended up in this rare dementia journey are going to say. Um, the first signs were me questioning myself, which is I was uh, mid-40s and I had a husband who was five years older, just turning 50, and things were just not quite right, but I couldn't put my finger on it. The big red flag for me was I was rolling pastry one day in the kitchen. I'd said to him, could you get the rolling pin out of the drawer? It's, a, it's in that drawer. And he looked at me with a very blank look. And I, we did, went through it again and eventually, being highly frustrated, I opened the drawer with my flowery hand and got the rolling pin and said, here it is. I sort of felt like knocking him with it, thinking, this is a rolling pin. And then thinking, how come he didn't know what a rolling pin was? And as I rolled the pastry out, that was a real... It, it stopped me totally dead in my tracks. You try and say to people, I'm really sorry. He's not very well. He's got dementia. But of course, they look and their typical view of someone with dementia is somebody older who's got Alzheimer's. And he's so not that. At the moment, there's very little hope. There's no treatment. It's degenerative, it's progressive, and there is absolutely no dignity in the final stages. Well, we're joined oh, now by broadcaster boy. John Suchet and his wife, Nula. And I'm sure all of those thoughts from Caroline resonate with the two of you. Alongside them, uh, we have Professor Nick Cox, who's a consultant neurologist and director of the Dementia Research Centre. Uh, Nick, you know the family. Uh, you know Caroline and Andrew there. It's an extraordinary thing to hear her speaking so honestly and openly, uh, but uh, it doesn't make it any easier for her to have to deal with and the whole family to go through as well. Oh, it's in incredibly hard. And I think Caroline's very brave. And it's, it's really, really hard for somebody with a, a, a young family and, and for the family to see uh, this is the first or the second time uh, Andrew's seen the, the family uh, all together. And that's incredibly hard for them. It's a very difficult, it's very difficult. Dementia is really uh, dreadful for anybody at any age, and it's dreadful for families. It affects much more than the individual. But if you have an unusual, an atypical, a rare form of dementia, it's that much harder because it's harder to get support. Some of the symptoms may be, it's not typically the, the form that everybody expects, that you're very elderly and that you have got a problem with your memory. You may have a problem with uh, language or with behaviour. And, and, and it's very hard to get support. And mm -hmm. so that's, that's, that's really important. So um, what people find is that they're very isolated mm -hmm. and it's difficult not just to get a, a, a diagnosis in the first place, but to find out information, to find people like you, because you're not like everybody else, and the, the form of dementia brings additional uh, problems, much as Caroline um, describes in, in, in that clip. And, John and Nula, you that's what you're trying to change, isn't it? The support for those rare forms of dementia, because you both have your own stories of, of dealing with it. Yeah. Well, James, uh, my husband, was a, in a television director, writer, and extremely bright. And when he started to get signs, um, it was, you know, really strange, obviously, uh, thinking what's happening. And then when we did finally get the diagnosis, it was, um, you know, Pick's disease. He had also frontal uh, lobe dementia. And um, I had no help. I had no support. Nobody knew what it was. Um, and I cared for him for five years and uh, felt very isolated. Um, we'd gone back to Ireland um, to make a film, so we were even more isolated. And then when I finally had to put him into care, um, I, I found the care w wasn't great either. So the whole journey was like a nightmare. Torture it really And yeah. dementia is the outcast mm. of diseases. It mm. still is the outcast of diseases. So we, I'm passionately, passionately trying mm. to get the word out there. And, and, and people like <laughs> Nula are become real experts. Yeah. And one of the things yeah. that we want to do is to harness that expertise and yeah. people find each other eventually yeah. and we've yeah. created support groups called Rare Dementia Support mm. and yeah. there's a, the website gets launched today which is rarededementiasupport.org 
supported by the National Brain Appeal, really to people run marathons, they do everything, and they're brave like Nula and Caroline is about speaking about their problems. And one thing that Caroline said in our film there is that, that, that hope goes and yes. actually it's hard to find people. One of the yes. wonderful things about you two, John, is that there is yeah. hope, tough yeah. though it is, and you two found each other because of what you were going through, didn't we, you? We did. I, I think the one thing that sets dementia apart from mm -hmm. other diseases is that, by and large, the person with it doesn't know they've got it. My wife, Bonnie, had no idea she had it, mm. so I couldn't talk to her about it. We mm. couldn't plan, we couldn't work out how we were going to mm. deal with it. Mm. So when Nula and I met, because our spouses were next to each other in the, in the mm. same care home, we just started talking. Mm. Yeah. And we yak, yeah. yak, 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 yak. We didn't stop, because at last there was someone to talk to. Yeah. Um, and Bonnie, from the day she was diagnosed till the day I lost her, never once knew she had dementia. So you're trying to... The plan is to open a rare dementia centre in London. Uh, you're supporting this as well. I'm sure you're, you're heavily involved, uh, Nick, too. It'll be the first of its kind in the world, is that right? Uh, absolutely. So, um, fantastic work has been done on other diseases. Cancer is, 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 is a great example. But there isn't anything like this in the world where there is... Yeah. where you can bring people together and they can... Sh we can take advantage of their, their, their huge expertise and share that expertise and be a platform for support, but also for information and res research. Mm. So that, that would be creating, uh, I think, a world first.